great Tuesday morning, December 22nd, 2020. To God be the glory for yet another wonderful, sun-filled, loving kindness. Woo! Grace-filled day. We thank the Lord for another opportunity to piggyback on last night's chapter 24. We might not have someone to lift our eyes to in the physical nature as far as love at first sight, which was the case with Isaac and Rebecca. It said in chapter 24, verse 63, Isaac went out at eventide and he lifted up his eyes and he saw the camels coming. And then Rebecca lifted up her eyes and she saw Isaac. She lighted off the camel. And woo, when they saw each other, that was it. They lifted up their eyes to one another. But guess of what? We can lift up our eyes unto the Lord, right? With his grace and his mercy. And we can lift his name on high. So we might not have someone to look up to, like my son, who's 6'3", 6'4", 6'5", 6'2", whatever, but know that we look to the Lord. Our eyes are lifted up to him, which cometh our help. Our help cometh from the Lord. What did you get out of Genesis 25? Because it goes on to the death of Abraham. I believe he died at the age of 175, and Ishmael, his son, died at the age of 137, and then Isaac and Rebekah had twins. We know the story of Jacob Esau. Come on in here, and I'm glad he's here because there's nothing like starting off the day with a word. It's cool to reflect on the faithfulness of the Lord at night, but ooh, when you could get in the word, Psalms 5, 3 says, my voice shalt thou hear in the morning, and the Lord wants to hear from us, and then he will tell us things also. What did you get, son? Um, shouldn't have more than one wife. <laughs> Which one are you talking about, Abraham? Yes. <laughs> well, now wait a minute. He was a widower, right? Keturah. No, I'm saying at the same time. Oh, at the same time. Yeah, right. Because you'll see later on that they had... Why do you say that? <laughs> it's just... Um, it's disrespectful and it causes too much confusion. I know it was acceptable back then, but <laughs> I'm saying right now, like you shouldn't have... A girlfriend and a wife, a girlfriend on the side. Come wife. on now. Let's say come on now. Like that's the, everybody should know that. You know, like that everybody knows that. You know what you would remember when I was uh listening to a video and that was was someone was alluding to. Um he's a former pastor now and he was trying to to give that type of illusion or he was trying to say, like, I got so much dirt on so many ministers and pastors as far as them having their first ladies, but then they have their first girlfriends, their first side pieces. It's a mess. And not only is God not honored, but are you kidding me? Do you know what would happen? He was like, if I told the wives what really went on behind closed doors in these, you know, these... Not only conventions, but, you know, these outings. So you're right, Timotheus. Just be content with the one. Let the Lord lift your eyes up to the one that he chooses for you. And you will um, have peace throughout the days. Amen. Yeah. Okay, Timotheus. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and and also I invited him because, because of today's date, we go to either Psalms 22 or 52 or 82. Or 112 or 142. I remember Psalms 112 spoke to me as far as let your heart be fixed. Let your heart be fixed on the Lord. And he will be able to keep you faithful once you get married. You, you're going to see Sally Jane and Betty Sue, but he'll be able to keep you solid. It says, he shall not be afraid of evil tidings. His heart is fixed, trusting the Lord. This is in Psalms 112.7. And right before that, it says, Wealth and riches be in his house, 
and his righteousness endure forever. This is for the person who fears the Lord, who blesses him and keeps his commandment. And it says, your children shall be mighty upon the earth. Generation of the upright shall be blessed. Like I said, you will have the, the provisions of the Lord. Your light will be there in the darkness. You will have a blessed life when you keep the commandments of the Lord, your family, your children, your wife, your one wife. You don't have to have all that confusion. Don't be like the world. And you will see that your home will be able to endure. And your heart is established. You will not be afraid of your enemies, your haters. You're going to have a blessed life, Timotheus, as you stay connected to the Lord. All right. Have a wonderful day. Thank you for coming. And know that the Lord only wants us to look up to him. He's our source of everything. Enjoy.